Share Shootout brought to you by Line of Africa Insurance, ensuring South Africa's future. You're watching Share Shootout here on CNBC Africa, first with Business Worldwide. Well, before the break, both Byron and Gary gave us two of their stock picks. Uh, Gary gave us Grinrod and Ellie's. Ellie's got the thumbs up. Grinrod got the slaughter it, cut it to shreds, thumbs down. It's in the doldrums. We don't care about how good the Baltic Dry Index may look. We're taking it down anyway. And that was the view of Byron Lotto and Best Act who, Captain Hypocrisy this evening, who criticised the high multiple of Grinrod, of course, has chosen two shares with multiples over 20, those being famous brands and Woolies. But Gary being Gary and a good guy with who's very tall and can see far into the distance, <laughs> he's anticipating a nice bounce back for Woolies, which has come under a huge amount of pressure recently. Woolies got the thumbs up. Famous brands, however, got the big thumbs down. Byron, I think you should go first this time because I'm really interested in your final pick for this evening. But Nuspat's makes famous brands and it makes woolies <laughs> and even grinrod seem cheap at the price why nuspass at these massive massive levels in 30 seconds you can't look at the earnings of this business if you had it bought hadn't bought this business because you thought it was expensive you'd be crying now um, this is a sum of the parts game uh, that tense in stake of theirs is worth 250 billion rand the market cap is 312 billion that means you're getting multi-choice mail.ru and all the e-commerce business for just 62 billion rand the multi-choice business makes six seven and a half billion rand a year alone um, I don't even care about their, their newspaper assets. Um, uh, so as a value player, I think it's a great company to be in. Okay, that assumes that the valuation on 10 cent is a good, fair and it's a, it's a accurate first world representation. market that values 10 cent at that. It's a Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Pro, it's a Hong Kong blooming <laughs> apocalyptic bubble. If you <laughs> yeah. look at what was the first world the valuation on dimension data that. in the year 2000, that was a first <laughs> world valuation. Please don't come in and spouse blooming <laughs> first world <laughs> valuation gobbledygook. Yeah. Um, right, tell me. No, do you, can you, can you buy, like Nasbash? Buying the Rolex instead of the Rolex. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, <laughs> Why can you not like Nasbash? Yeah, Come I, on! I'm, no, I'm shooting down Nasbash. Again, too expensive. I mean, P, I think, is around 44 yep. this morning. Uh, Maybe 45 by yeah, now. 45, yeah. yeah, it's running. So, I mean, there's definitely a lot of optimism. And if you're a momentum trader, fine. That's something that you can buy. Uh, I can't I can't accept it on a value basis. Uh, it's, it's a company that, you know, one adopter, as we were talking about, uh, China slowing down. I mean, you know, if China does slow down, I mean, I suppose we'll feel it. But it's not it's not that what that worries me the most. It's the, the fact that if you look at something like Google, Google is worried that if, if one search engine comes up with a better algorithm that just does the job better, people will just switch. They will flock. It's not, it, it's not difficult to do leave Nasdaq. It's not difficult. In the internet world, it's not difficult to move from one company to another company. I, I've got to disagree with you on that. Microsoft brings out a thing called Bing. People are going to start binging things. We don't Bing anything. We no, Google it. I don't They've think, got I don't the think first better, mover though. advantage. They, they might have the first mover advantage, and there is something that they, they, they probably will keep those customers. But uh, looking at it, I mean, it's an internet business. It, it does look like a, a tech bubble. I mean, you know, where, where are the earnings going to come from that justify this? And even with them giving 100% update, that's still not satisfying the PE, uh, the mm. PE ratio. I mean, it, it came off on its last, on doubling its earnings last time. We're, we're picking on him. Let's give him 30 <laughs> seconds to, to, to dig the hole deeper. Oh, uh, come on. You, you can't argue against the, the fundamentals of this thing that we don't know where it's going. We don't understand the markets in which it operates. We assume that it will continue to have this enormous growth trajectory. But that is where investors in technology always get burnt. The reason Tencent is so expensive is because it's got 900 million subscribers. It's the amalgamated version of Amazon, Google, Facebook, eBay, um, uh, online gaming, which is Zynga, all in one, and it's locked in all, basically the majority of Chinese clients. And, isn't and you it can't a bit like leave it because you'll be it, left out. Isn't it a bit like pick and pay in that it's, been, it's pricing 10 cent for the next 900 million clients? You've got 900 million clients. That's almost an eighth of the entire world. As, as subscribers. So where's the growth from? It's, it's like a chain letter. If you can, <laughs> if if they've been able to monetize it, they have been able to monetize it more than any of the other businesses like Facebook, um, but if they can monetize it more, uh, because those Chinese consumers are growing and they're getting more money and they're going to be spending that money. What about the, the argument that it's not hard to create alternatives? And who says they're not going to find the next 10 cent? Um, you know, Chris Becker has been spending a lot of money on e-commerce, um, all in developing markets. So they're basically the front runners of technology in, in the developing world. Fair enough. But that point is accepted. 
but is it worth the price of 44 times last year's earnings? You can't look at the earnings of this one. You can't look at the earnings. You can look at the earnings of every other share except this one. Oh boy, yeah. we've seen this one before. Sounds, <laughs> Come yeah, on, Gary. Sounds like not looking at the earnings of a company, it sounds like a bubble. Okay, <laughs> there we but go. But yeah, like I said, uh, if you're a trader, there, there's momentum in the stock. You, you cannot go short enough. I those. smell gun oil. But uh, yeah. yeah, got it as a longer term investor or something. It's not that something I would go and put in my portfolio. Yeah. Okay, you got to shoot it down. down. Yeah. Have you got, have, do, you, oh, do you hold any? Did you buy any at 300 bucks? No, at 200 I, bucks? I don't hold most personally. Yeah, don't you wish you had? No. Okay, but that's, yeah, the, sort of a that's right? the trouble. It's too expensive <laughs> then. I, 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 I wish five years ago yeah, I had bought famous <laughs> brands that I had bought Nasbers. Don't we wish we had? Okay, so it has been shot down on a valuation basis. Lovely company, fantastic chief executive, great insight, absolute genius, but too expensive. Always going to hold us back on that one. I am bewildered. <laughs> Gary, by your last pick. Okay. I met a man who gave me a tie last week. I should actually have worn it in his honor. The tie has got lots of little medicine capsules on it, lots of pills on it. Uh, it comes from Chile, the, 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 the lovely country of Chile, where they do very nice salmon and very nice wine. They also have a drugs manufacturer that's very keen to buy Adcock Ingram at a valuation of about 72 and 50 or thereabouts a share, cash and shares. Mm -hmm. Shareholders are a little bit skeptical about the offer. Why now would you buy Adcock Ingram? Why would I buy it now? Yes. Um, if you could do a discounted cash flow on, on Adcock Ingram, you've got, uh, you know, you actually, the, the share valuation is probably around 62 for that business. But of course, you, you're not buying that business anymore. You're going to, you, you know, if the deal goes through, which we expect it will, um, you're going to get uh, a business that operates all over the place. And I think the, the reason that we like it specifically is that, uh, one, you've got the underpin of Bidvest's uh, deal. You've got, uh, obviously, the offer at about 73.51, uh, I think it is, from, uh, from CFR. But you've also got the synergies that CFR brings to. So it's all the, you know, they can export generic drugs. Uh, okay, into yeah, you're you 30 seconds market. so far away. <laughs> they're, so, they're so gone. Uh, it's a complicated business. 30 seconds <laughs> probably doesn't justify oh, it. Oh, never does justice to it. <laughs> um, I don't get that pick at all. Can you see the, the logic of it? Well, it is trading at a bit of a discount. Uh, to uh, the offer. To the offer. But this is share shootout. It's not, uh, let's get a quick little 6%. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are also a lot of risks that the deal is not going to go through because uh, we saw how hostile um, our authorities were to Walmart um, and having a, um, an external company coming in and trying to buy a, a and local somebody has asset. It. Is it the PIC that says, well, we prefer a local buyer? Yes, yes. Um, so they might even be happy. Is that risk that it falls through, which will bring the share price down again? Yeah. Um, and then also, you know, if you want a big global generic business, why not just go for Aspen? Okay, because Aspen's multiples too high. There we go. Gary's answered the question for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're shooting it down on the basis that this is Cloud Cuckoo Land stuff. Mm. There yeah. we go. Okay, on that point, Gary, sorry, you've been shot down on can that, I, that point. Can I come back to go it? One, one, <laughs> 12 second report. PIC, 13% of the company only doesn't have enough uh, muscle in there to actually block the deal anyway. Also, if you look at the Adcock's role in South Africa, the, the calls for having a local player, completely irrelevant because Competition Commission would have a few. Elias Masilela has got a hotline to Rob Davies. They can <laughs> drag this thing out for longer than they drag MassMart if mm. they choose to do so. We've seen it in the past. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen again. Yeah. All right, we've got to pick a winner this evening. Whew, I tell you what, that's tough. Byron Lott, a couple of my favorite companies in there, but they're blooming expensive. He's gone to the high end of expectations tonight on famous brands, on Woolworths and Nussbergs. There isn't a single value play in there, but they're three top quality companies. Are they, however, three top quality shares that you are going to make money out of over the next 12 to 18 months? Hmm, I don't know. Gary Boyson, Grinrod, Ellie's and Adcock Ingram. Grinrod betting on global trade, interesting, Ellie's, if you don't depend on them for your satellite dish, you won't dislike them too much. And Adcock Ingram, this is Cloud Cuckoo Land, but I quite like Cloud Cuckoo Land. Byron, you're going to hate me even more. Byron Lotta, I'm afraid you're gone. If my producers had had their way, Gary Boyson would be gone, but hey, this isn't about them, this is about me. I am the judge, jury and executioner. I like the fact that there is a bit more value in Gary's portfolio, and that's simply the reason for it. Three great companies that Byron chose, but they're blooming expensive, and I just, I get frightened when things are expensive. So Grinrod, Ellie's and Adcock Ingram, I don't really get that one yet, but we'll study it in further detail. 
Will Brian Joffe beat the offer from CFR? No, most certainly he won't. Maybe he's waiting in the background for that deal to fall flat. We're hosting another stock picking battle royale on the most vicious stock picking show on TV next Tuesday right here on CBC Africa. Do tweet me or share shootout suggestions. My producers are going to be abusing me on Twitter this evening. Why don't you join them? Follow at Bruce Business on Twitter. Until next time, we'll continue to pick out a winner and shoot out the rest. Good night.